Welcome back to 20 Side Adventures. This is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm calling the uh, Classes Collegium. So we're going to be doing uh, kind of college course themed videos, talking about the different classes. So this is kind of your entry level. This is my tier list and take on Pathfinder 2E classes, uh, specifically the non-casters, uh, and listing them basically on what is easy to build, fun to play, and, you know, to more complex and more difficult classes to work with. So the S tier is going to be pretty easy and you can just kind of drop in, play, and be real successful at your role. Where D tier is going to be a little more challenging maybe to put a character together. I think all of the Pathfinder classes have good use and are well balanced, so there's no real bad choices in my opinion. It's just a matter of different kind of play styles. And this list is really meant to be ease of use and uh, how easy it is to build. Uh, also, I have my first sponsorship since starting YouTube, so if any of you are bearded gamers such as myself and are interested in some gaming-centric uh, beard products, check out Beard Sorcery. Uh, they have fragrances such as Paladin's Might, which I've currently been using to tame my crazy beard. You can get uh, different oils, balms, and other such products. Fantastic. I've loved it. I've been using them about a month now, and I reached out to them to see if we could partner up, and here we are. So if you're interested in some great beard products, check out beardsorcery.com. Use promo code 20SIDEADVENTURES. And then as always, guys, we've been getting a lot of traction here on the channel. Thank you for the likes and subs. Let's keep that going. If you haven't subbed to the channel, just go ahead and down there and click that and we're going to get started with my class tier list for non-casters. All right, here we are at the tier list. We're going A through Z and the first up is Alchemist. <clears throat> so I put Alchemist in C tier. Uh, there are very distinct subclasses that very drastically change how the alchemist works, and there is a huge array of things that the alchemist can make, and since their primary objective each day, or their primary functionality each day is creating potions on the fly that only last for the day, uh, it can be a little overwhelming to be an alchemist. So they are down here in C tier for the ease of uh, creation and play. Uh, Barbarian, A tier, they're pretty straightforward, get angry, hit things. Uh, picking what kind of rage can really change how your class works, and so it can be, well, I wouldn't say it really changes how your class works, but it really changes what they do, uh, giving them like elemental damage or some of the other benefits of different rages, so it can be a little more challenging, but it's pretty simple, get angry, hit things, um, A tier. S tier, fighter, fighter's pretty straightforward, you hit things and you hit them great. Um, there's not a lot of, like, I don't think you can really build a bad fighter. The way the progression works, you're going to do well, you're going to hit things, and you're going to hit them well. Uh, the Investigator, if you wanted to make your rogue really complicated, the Investigator has a couple unique subclasses to go down that can be a little challenging to build, uh, but it's going to be a skill monkey. If you spend your skills well, you'll be all right. Uh, again, just a lot of different um, things the Investigator can do, so a little more challenging for a perhaps newer player to pick up. Ranger, A tier, you are going to be focused on your hunted prey. There's a couple different feats that are very specific for weapon types, and they're pretty obvious, so slightly more challenging than fighter that you just drop in and swing your sword, uh, but still pretty straightforward. Uh, Thaumaturge, so I love the Thaumaturge, but it is a super complex class. You have to manage your different implements, there are whole different feat trees you can go down to like be really good at using scrolls and wands or to create ma daily magic items. And it can be a really complex class. So uh, I love it. My wife's playing one right now and I have one in a game I'm running. Uh, and they're very interesting to watch how they play them, but they are definitely a more challenging class. Gunslinger. Uh, pretty straightforward, middle of the road. You do have some very unique subclasses you need to choose from, but your primary objective is to shoot things and shoot them well. Uh, yeah, middle of the road. Uh, inventor, a non-casting summoner with all these different augments for your inventions. can be very complicated down here in D tier. Champion, 
pretty straightforward. Uh, you basically take a fighter and give them a reaction for when their buddy gets hit. They do have some options to take some spells, but it doesn't really matter which subclass you pick. Most of them all revolve around reacting to your buddies getting hit unless you're playing evil ones. That gets a little weirder, but uh, again, fairly straightforward. Kineticist, C tier, so many feat choices, so many different ways to generate your powers and your abilities. Um, and uh, in my opinion, one of the longest feat lists, I might be wrong on that one, but it just felt like there was a lot when that one came out. So it's a lot to sift through and it can be really overwhelming for a new player. Uh, so yeah, down here in C tier for ease of use. Rogue. So I had a little bit of debate on the rogue because there are some pretty complex rogue builds, but I think ultimately the rogue's job is to be great at the skills you want to be great at and to provide flanks. And as long as you're doing those two things, uh, you're going to be successful as a rogue. Monk, your job is to hit things and hit them frequently. It comes built in. There aren't a whole lot of ways to get off of that path and to do really complex things necessarily, so pretty straightforward. If you want to hit things, you want to hit them a lot, and you want to have some neat powers, you can build a really successful monk. Swashbuckler. So I put Swashbuckler middle of the road. Uh, because they're not super complex in the fact that you just you generate panache and then you do things better. But the problem is I've seen a lot of players get into this uh, cycle where it's uh, tumble through, attack, finisher, tumble through, attack, finisher, and every round is just the same thing, and that can get really boring. So to weave all of your different abilities to be generating panache, doing your finishers, and then back that doesn't just get real repetitive and boring can take a little bit more nuance and character design. So uh, Swashbuckler in the B tier. So there you guys go. This is my real brief um, tier list on classes. I'm going to be breaking down each of these classes first in a video that's going to explain the class and its subclasses, what their primary role is, what you can expect from them. So if you're new to Pathfinder or if you're just curious about picking up a class, and then each of these will be broken down even further where I'm going to do very specific builds and how to do things and then maybe some real complex builds that are really unique and off, off the beaten path from, uh, from just the base of each of these classes. Uh, keep an eye out. We'll be doing one of these for casters as well. And again, really appreciate all the support the channel's been getting. We've been just shooting up with subscribers. So please keep liking subs, liking, subscribing, sharing. I very much appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you guys next time on 20 Side Adventures.